Okay, so here we have a two-piece rotor on a performance vehicle. Uh, a lot of people don't know what a two-piece rotor is. Uh, as you can see in the photograph here, or not photographs, sorry, video, there's actually two pieces. There's your iron part of the rotor. This is what actually generates the heat. Uh, that's the workhorse. Uh, the pads clamp against here and your vehicle stop. Uh, the inside here, as you can see, uh, it's a contrasting color. It's a lightweight uh, alloy, most likely aluminum. So what that does is it lightens the weight of the rotor. So why is that important? You don't want a heavy rotor because you want to reduce unsprung weight. It's really important to have it as light as possible. And the reason is, if you imagine if you're gonna hit a bump, the wheel will have to go up and down, uh, obviously to go over that bump. So if you have a heavy rotor with a heavy wheel, everything's really heavy, it's really hard to go up and down. Imagine pulling something and pushing something to break that inertia. It's really hard if it's heavy. Now imagine if this is much, much lighter, uh, it's really easy to tug and pull something back and forth if it's really light. So here I have another rotor, this is off some Toyota, and you can see it's one piece. You can see the center part here is actually, it's cast in uh, to the rotor, it's all one piece. So this is heavy, heavy material, much cheaper to make, and that's what you'll see on pretty much most vehicles, unless it's a performance vehicle. Two-piece rotors tend to be very, very expensive because obviously you have to cut the center out and then they make this, what is called a hat, and it gets bolted to it. And what that does is it lightens, uh, it lightens up the rotor quite substantially. Big question. Okay, so now we've talked a little bit about them. Do you actually need them? What are they about? Well, listen, we, we've discussed uh, earlier, you're gonna get the shock of your life when you find out how much uh, they cost. So if you have a bunch of money extra burning in your pocket, well, go get them then I guess it's fine. You can go get them. Uh, they, they are better performing. But do you really need them on your average car when you're driving around town going to get groceries or doing whatever you do uh, you're probably not going to notice that much of a difference because you're not racing around on your track and you're not trying to get that best possible time you're just obeying the speed limits and driving around town so you're not going to notice a difference here we have another shot same thing two piece uh, there you can see the center there's the outside do you need them? It's really up to you. You can decide what you want to do, but they are a lot of money uh, for the performance that uh, that you'll get. So on the street, I don't think you really need them. On the track, sure, why not?